Sean Gunn, welcome to the podcast, Mostly Superheroes, by far one of the biggest stars we've had on the show. We're going to continue the thread into another multiverse. Get ready, because you have bounced all around. You are also in the MCU, a massive star. <laughs> the Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy, I'll say, is, is by far one of my favorite trilogies uh, to date. And then the larger implications of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and everything Kevin Feige's done and your brother to bring together these characters not in the not only in this beautiful arc where everybody, including Craglin, has all these beautiful character payoffs. Um, we've been watching you and cheering you on along the way, and we have seen, of course, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. We will keep it spoiler free for our fans that are picking up the franchises. A lot of new fans out there. So, epic conclusion at the end. Craglin has a future. Rocket has a future. What can you share with us about those futures with Marvel fans? Uh, well, I would start by saying that I don't have an inside guy anymore in the MCU, <laughs> the way that I, the way that I do in the DCU. So like when, you know, James and I are collaborators, but, it, but we, we also, you know, he'll sort of fill me in on things that are, things that are going on and like, give me little bits and pieces of what's going on in the future. Um, I don't have that anymore at, at Marvel, even though I'm still obviously friends with with everyone and i'm i i think that if i if i called kevin feige i assume he'd answer the phone um he's a friend uh th those uh they i uh i'm very i'm eager to see where that stuff goes but that's a that honestly is a great big i don't know yeah. um i don't know what they're plan is i know san diego comic Con later this week i'm assuming they'll make some new um uh some new uh announcements about what's coming up in the future but unlike years past i don't know what those announcements are wow um and i mean that sincerely it's not just that i can't talk about them it's that i legitimately don't know so um i uh i loved uh i i i, I love playing craglin i'm really proud of the character um, I think he's super interesting. I don't know if he has a place going forward in the MCU or not. Um, I, uh, I'm, I'm open to anything. Um, I, I am like Craglin. I'm a soldier as an actor. Like I am all about the storytelling. And so it's not a matter of like, Oh, I want this job or I need this job. It's like, if the storytelling is right and I'm, and I can be useful, I'm all in. If they decide to go another direction because the, the the MCU is taking a little bit of a different turn and maybe we don't see those characters again, that's I I totally respect I, I always respect the storytellers' visions for things like that. So um it's it's kind of like um, you know, it's not part of my job description to have a wish for what I want them to do with Craglin. I want them to do what what they think is best and then um and then when they when they make those decisions, we can, uh, we'll, you know, I'm happy to, to talk about it. So I don't really know what the MCU is doing right now. And I, I, I'm eager to see it because there, it's a whole bunch of talented people involved um, in putting, putting that stuff together. Uh, but yeah, I don't, uh, we'll, we'll, right now, my, my guess is kind of as good as yours. Well, ours is more of a hope. If they don't make you, if they don't bring you back, it's a mistake. We are looking for those characters to come back around. The MCU is a multiverse now, and everybody's getting TV shows. I think you did some work in What If. Did you do What If work as well? I did. I did an episode of What If. It was fun. So it's like that. Yeah. Is, that's where we're at now, right? Like anything can happen. The Guardians are such, I mean, maybe the, I mean, right next to the Avengers, maybe tied with the Avengers at this point, like the most popular group, I'd say, man. So I hope they do something. Just, you know, fingers crossed from our side. Hey, you know, if, if, uh, if, if, if Marvel contacted me and said that they wanted to move, you know, they wanted to take these Guardians characters and move towards some some kind of like a TV series or something from the big screen, like they'd have my attention, you know. <laughs> but uh, you wouldn't be mad. But at I it. have no idea. Like right. I don't, you know. Like I, uh, I, 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 I really, I, I don't know. So I, I look forward to, uh, to, to whatever it is they're going to do. I think I can say I don't know that this is exactly. Uh, um, a, a scoop um but i because i think i because i've said it before but i can say with pretty uh, you know with 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 pretty pretty close to certainty that i am officially retired from playing rocket 
um, uh, in in any um, any of the motion pictures because of um, your ankles. Your ankles can't do it. Correct. <laughs> yeah. That <was> it. <laughs> my feet, my feet, and my ankles. I turned fifty in May, and uh, it's. I'm 35. Um, I can't imagine doing that. I can't imagine it. Squatting like a baseball catcher and moving laterally and walking um, is a young man's game. And, uh, and I, uh, and so I don't think physically I could do it anymore. I think that there's, you know, certain aspects, obviously Br Bradley Cooper is just like his vocal performance is just amazing. And, and uh, sort of uh, 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 above, above reproach. Um, there are certain vocal things that I did that I think um, th that could still be useful if they if they needed me. Um, and I voiced a little section of Young Rocket, in the third movie, and and uh, was proud of that. So there are things where, you know, if the if if they needed me for certain um, it, you know, like speech, you know, there are ways in which I could assist with the creation of Rocket other than getting in the catcher's stance and so maybe yeah. I, I could do that if they if they wanted but um as far as like, yeah the doing the crouch uh for six months i uh i have to officially retire from that job it makes sense man it does and this last question we have one more for you it's more of a favor and we're hosting the, you know i kind of thought you might see this before but it's even better on the spot we are hosting a private movie experience that we do once a year called the screen and social we run a private movie theater all of our podcast fans come we're gonna see deadpool wolverine on july 28th and we're raising some funds for the hdsa so that's the huntington's disease society of america you know fighting the good fight so as if you were speaking to this movie theater full of fans what would you say to them to get them pumped for a rated r marvel flick my message is enjoy the movie i hope that it's great i love uh, fandom. I love the way that fans come together to root for things. And I don't think that the, we have too much competition in our world. Um, you know, there's no Marvel versus DC. We want them both to be great. Isn't it a great world if they're both awesome? Um, and I just want uh, this movie to be awesome. Um, that said, I kind of hope Hugh Jackman kills Deadpool. But, you know, it's fine. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just like, let's enjoy all of it. Let's celebrate the fact that we we all have our little idiosyncrasies as nerds. That's it. <laughs> Thank you for that, man. That's really special. Like I said, you're one of the biggest stars we've had in the show. To get you this quickly, oh, yeah. to, for it to come together, for you to take the time, we know you're busy. No worries. And, I, you know, I also want to point out that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be at San Diego Comic-Con. I will be appearing on the... Dynamite Entertainment panel, Dynamite Comics Company, who who do the boys in addition to a whole bunch of other just amazing comics, um, to announce a comic book that I am writing um, in association with Dynamite Entertainment, a comic book called Shepherds that I'm like, it's a project that I'm really super, super pumped about. And so I'll be announcing that later this week. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Congratulations on that. Can we share that you're announcing that or is that a little bit of a secret? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, just yeah, sure. Then I'm making a, I'm announcing a, a comic book with Dynamite Entertainment. All right, man. Do you have any questions for us on the Mostly Superheroes crew? We've taken enough of your time. We appreciate it, but we always ask if you have any questions. We we bombard you. You know, what high school yeah. did you go to? Ooh, go we're, ahead. We're rivals, Sean. I went to Dismet. I know. It, at least in, we have something to bond over, fellow fellow Jesuits. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know what's funny is I always think of that when it's. It's always so funny to me that the biggest rivals are the, the schools that are like most like one another or most in proximity to one yes. another. Like, <laughs> oh, people from Michigan hate people from Michigan State. <laughs> it's like if you were an alien from another planet, do you know how absurd that would sound? That like, oh, the people from like the left side of the river hate the people from the right side of the river. Like, oh my God, yes. there's nobody more. And I think that about like, hated to smet when i was in high school and now it's like who who yeah. am i probably you know it's like we're all from the same place yeah it's kind of like you said uh, about dc and marvel there's no real war it really it's is. almost like just kiss already you know <laughs> every rival situation <laughs> it really is and what we can do is just team up and hate shaman on that's i'm here for that i'm here for that see yeah. i know i know you haven't uh strayed too far from your stl roots because you asked that question that means you're you're still one of us 
<laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, for sure. Well, again, taking plenty of your time. Sean, thank you so much. It's been a real pleasure meeting you, man. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Nice talking to you. All Thank right. You. We'll see you later. All right. Be well. You too. Bye. Mostly Superheroes is proud to be funded in part by our sponsors. Mostly Superheroes is funded in part by paying patrons who receive early, ad-free, and exclusive episodes. Subscribe at MostlySuperheroes.com forward slash support. Thank you for supporting your favorite independent podcast. Mostly Superheroes is an independent podcast owned and operated by Kerrigan Ventures in St. Louis, Missouri. Hosted by Logan Janis, Andy Hun, and Scott Swearingen. Brand and creative by Carrie Clark Design. Music by Audionautics. Learn more at audionautics.com. Find more at mostlysuperheroes.com.